Live from somewhere in the Midwest, Netters Network and YouTube bring you Netters Network Retro Cinema. And the world keeps spinning, and the tales keep turning, and people come, and people go. They're never forgotten. And the one truth you know, it held true one more time. That love, true love, the really, really good kind of love, never dies. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to another edition of Netter's Network Retro Cinema Presents. And tonight we're going to be watching The Book of Life. Now, of course, as always, Troy will have a, a link to Cosme pinned to the top. Speaking of Troy, uh, that way. <laughs> Wait, that way. Hello. That way. <laughs> Salud. How are you doing tonight, sweetie? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing I great. know you are because you are excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. Yep. I've got some very special guests I'm going to be introducing in a minute. But before I do that, I want to introduce my other guest host, Big Al of Big Al Presents. How are you doing, Hel sweetie? Hello. I am doing very well, thank you. I am uh, excited to watch this. I've never seen it before, so looking forward to watching it. Oh, cool. Interesting. Yeah, it's no, you're going to enjoy it. Movie. It's a lot mm -hmm. of fun. And, and as I uh, mentioned, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I got my di I got my Diet Mountain Dew at my side, ready to go. Awesome, awesome. Uh, rock star. <laughs> yeah, energy drinks tonight. It's been a day, let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> and as I mentioned, I have two very special guest hosts tonight. Yep. So first up is Mikey, the Mexican Iron Man. How are you doing tonight, sweetie? Very well. I've got a uh, very, uh, I just popped open in honor of tonight, this uh, bottle of French that I've been holding for a long time. It's uh, eight year uh, uh, and I'm very, uh, it's, a, it's a, from the Rhone Valley. So I'm ready to do this. I've never seen this movie either. So. I, was, I was just going to say, are you really excited about the movie or are you just excited to be on Netter's stream? Let me put you this way. I'm excited to be here so much that I opened up a $180 bottle of wine. That's how, wow. that's how excited I am. Whoa. There you go. Okay, I feel honored. <laughs> and our other special guest host tonight is Polly, the Latino slam. How are you doing tonight, sweetie? Hey, hello there, everybody. I'm doing great and uh, looking forward. And anyone who hasn't seen this film, this is uh, probably one of the best animated films I've ever seen, it ever. I mean, hail the creator, Jorge Gutierrez. The creator of Mayan, the three, Aichi Waba, El Tigre, and uh, Book of Life. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so happy that we actually made this work so yeah. the entire panel could be here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I super, super appreciate it, man. Yeah. Now, Paul, you were saying that um, you had a tweet out earlier and got a fabulous answer to a question. Would you like to address that? Yeah. Can I share this? Please. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know how okay. to, if he shares his, his... So there's my screen. How do I do it, sweetie? So you bring it in just like you're bringing in a panelist. You should see his Kind of hover over it and it should say share. Okay, so... In StreamYard, just like another person was joining the <laughs> panel. It's just his screen. I think, oh. yeah, I think oh, you're able it. to there see you Okay, there wonderful. Okay, so I was so excited and I have a kind of like a... Twitter friendship with the creator of Book of Life, Jorge mm -hmm. Gutierrez, and I just went ahead and sent sent out this this tweet, and my question was, Senor, we are having a watch party of your incredible film, Book of Life. I'd love to know what was the biggest hurdle getting this film produced. Gracias, maestro, and that's like you know, thank you, uh, master. You know, like maestro, the, maestro, yeah, the, maestro. well, you know, maestro, conductor, yeah. this the yeah. man, and there's a, the photo. And uh, he got over 100 likes. He got a lot, lot of retweets, other people. But mm -hmm. there he is, responding. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the power of Twitter. Right. The power of Twitter, guys. And um, here's what he said. Convincing the studios that Day of the Dead was a concept that could be universal was yeah. by far the biggest hurdle. Hollywood in the year 2000 was a very different time. By the time DreamWorks optioned in 2007, things were getting a little better. The next hurdle 
was the wood look <laughs> of the uh, actual characters themselves. And yeah, yeah. Um, there's other, you know, people uh, chiming in, which was wonderful. And uh, I just uh, thought that that was a, a really uh, great response. And Jorge, if you're, if you're watching this, if you, if you check this out, Maestro, uh, thank you for your, for your film. But, you know, it just goes to show you it's always, it's always about the pitch. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. trying to get this made, and y- you got a you got an international cast of uh, of then very well known Mexican actors. Yeah. Then, you know, I mean, probably the biggest name on this list is, is Kate Del Castillo, who is a huge telenovela star. But besides that, Hollywood doesn't know who these people are. You know, so they yeah. got the Channing Tatum in there. You get you know you get that in there, but really selling this 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 vision of a day of the dead film it, it, it's it's unheard of because of the american uh, uh view of of life and death and how mexicanos view it and the the humor and the the brutality and the love and the 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 beauty and poetry and the songs that we have that's connected to 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 death it's pre-columbian as well you know, Day of the Dead is a is a pre-Columbian holiday that was celebrated for three months <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> it's every November first now, and it's an indigenous holiday that was kind of intertwined with Catholicism. You know, because uh, those darn conquistadors couldn't take the Indian out of the Indian. <laughs> right, right, right. And I, I this, like to believe. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was gonna no, say no, I like no. to think that that um, when cultures combine you don't ever want to lose you know you want mm-hmm. you want to take the best you know and and when there is some combination and i feel that 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 ought to be it's not always the case but it ought to be the american experience right the melting pot you know and i think that a lot of americans if if they're really honest they're interested they want to know but I don't think that sometimes these studios have enough faith in the audience, you know, when it comes to something mm-hmm. like this. Well, again, it's a very it's a it's a very strange pitch. Hey, we and I don't want to spoil it for for Big Aller Mike, but we want to pitch our hero. This happens to him, and you know, you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I'm probably thinking as far as the hurdle. I, you, you're right as far as a, a, as far as just people are people, and there's certain themes that are universal, which people are going to see in this film. And oh yeah, I highly suggest everyone come and watch it with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful film. Yeah. And of course, I love the love story aspect of it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah, but let's not let's not spoil too much because I guess if we've got two people on the panel who haven't seen, it, I'm guessing there's yeah. going to be some people in the chat who haven't yeah. Uh, seen it. Yeah, either. I was I was tempted to read the Wikipedia synopsis, but I was like, nope, I'm going to let it. I happen. didn't even do that either, and I always I do find that. Out. I do Good too. on you guys. <laughs> I probably would have. <laughs> I, I normally do, but I say I'm going to I'm going to experience this live. So yeah, yeah and um. Just a couple of like kind of cool Easter eggs, but they're not spoilers. Uh, one of the archetypes uh, that is used is uh, La Catrina, you know, and she's over my back. She's always here in the Slant Studios. And um, this uh, iteration of La Catrina, this is like a Mexican uh, uh, archetype, it's uh, a car- was done by cartoonist Posada. And he did these cartoons in the early 1900s. I even have it on my t shirt. But they were m- very much like any good comic strip at the time. They take the piss out of what, you know, the politicos and society is doing to the downtrodden with, with humor and, and, and a lot of, and a lot of uh, you know, uh, a lot of vinegar. So that is one of the, his archetypes, which is in the film. Wow. There you go. Oh, before yeah. we get too much further into it, let yep. me say hello to the chat. Hello, the chat. <laughs> hello, the chat. <laughs> um, let's see. The first one I'm seeing is Daniel Herring, and he'll say that he'll catch it on the 5 a.m. replay. Yes, and I and I know he does that. And of course, our favorite Blue Wrench deleted scenes. How you doing? Yep. I and haven't course, seen your video yet, but I'm looking forward to, it, and I'm excited about my copy of Isom too. Yeah. So what he said that what, uh, he was. What's up, Steven? Yep. 
Let's see. Of course, I have Latino slang saying hello. Mexican Iron Man. There you go. Sir and Turk Joker Lede, voice. Mexican Iron Man. Joker voice. Nice to see you here. Joker voice says he can't stay. He's got food cooking, but, you That's know. That's fine. You can That's always fair. come back and visit. Yep. We'll be here all night. <laughs> yep, exactly. And that's all I'm seeing right now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, good, good. I I and did you get Sir Torin Clegane? Sir Torin yes, Clegane, yes. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, okay. I was just wasn't sure. Okay. So, Polly, what, what can you tell us about your personal history with this film? When did you first see it? You know... Yeah, I saw I saw it in the theater, uh, and I've okay. seen it about you know once a year uh, since then. Um, you know, it's also one of those movies that kind of you know um, got lost in the shuffle, especially when Coco came out. Yeah, you know, which is the Disney one, you know, and yeah. um, but I, of the two films, we know which one's the better film. <laughs> I, I agree with you. I mean, I liked Coco, but yeah. I really like this one. And you know what? I think one of the big reasons I like it is because it is different. It's not yeah. following some court, some kind of a Hollywood formula, you know? Uh, we are always saying that with all the reboots and the remakes and the rehashings and following the formula over and over again, we want something different. And yeah. I get excited when we really do get something different. So another thing with, with, with this film is it, it, it's another le earmark um, for the career of, of Diego Luna. And he had just directed a film called Chavez um, for, for American audiences. It was a small film, didn't really do much, but it was a biopic on the United Farm Workers uh, president, uh, Cesar Chavez. You know, and Diego, his career is very versatile. You know, he, 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 he really has spread his wings, and now he's really more of a household name. But he does a fantastic job in this movie. And he sings. He sings in English. He sings in Spanish. And it's, yeah, wow, it's wow. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, I, yeah, I'm fired up about this. Uh, like I said, I've been looking forward to this. And... Uh, you were saying that uh, I, th I think you were the one who was pointing out that, that we're watching this kind of right in the middle of, of uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Is that correct? I mean, I'm not a big proponent of Hispanic Heritage Month, uh, mm -hmm. you know, but yes, it, it, typically it's September 15th through the October 15th at the Which slant. Which is kind of odd. That doesn't seem like it's a month. It seems like half of two months. <laughs> Well, it's like, a, yeah. it's like a fiscal month. That's a whole yeah. other. That's a whole other stream. But <laughs> what me and Mexican Iron Man, uh, well, as far as the Latino slant, we're thirty. We're three hundred and sixty-five days. We're not just a month. We're the, you know, like um, my one of my absolute favorite holidays in general is Dia de los Muertos, November first. Mm -hmm. So I always get excited when it's October first, because this is it's like. For me, it's like the first of all these great holidays, right? Yeah. Uh, Dia de los Muertos, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas is like for me. I, I I'm I'm very excited, and you this year is gonna have a very special meaning for me. So, um, if, if we have a, another minute, really quick, sure, sure. So, Day of the Dead is, is a is a tradition where you uh, create an altar. In your house right. mm -hmm. and you put up you know some photos of past loved ones maybe some other favorites things like you know maybe like a soda pop or whatever they are their you know you know their personalities were all about you know mm -hmm. um uh, with and, and put, put 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 the flowers if you notice i always have my flowers up and these are simpasuchi these are these are the marigolds and you'll you'll you're gonna see them in the movie um, these aren't these are awesome, but they're not they're not real. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, and uh, you, you take you take the you take that time to to commune with those past ones, and maybe you even make their favorite food. And the the people that get real hardcore is that they'll they'll do they'll do a whole thing at the tombstone of their mm -hmm. past love loved one, loved ones. So you know they're they'll even I think one year. One year we had mariachis play at my at my mother's mom's um, tomb. Wow! Wow! Yeah. So yeah, you know, that's. I'm that's a, I, 
Uh, it, it might be something nice for me to do this year because I just this year lost my mother. Yes, you did, and Absolutely. I have I actually currently have a little altar. You know, I have her picture and the flowers mm. that surrounded her urn, mm -hmm. and pick a couple pictures of some other loved ones. And on her birthday, I put mm -hmm. uh, a little hostess birthday cupcake up there for her and let it sit there, there for go. a while. And uh, so yeah, I mean it's a beautiful it. It's a beautiful tradition, and uh, of course, mm -hmm. corresponding with the same time, like you said, with Halloween. And I'm I'm Catholic, so you know, the All Saints Day and then All Souls Day on the mm -hmm. second. So, yeah, yeah, and again, this holiday has nothing to do with Halloween. <laughs> right, no. right, right. right? Be, you know, I mean, we like both. You know, uh, Romy loves. Uh, horror films thriller films like we're, we're sure, watching yeah. horror films almost every day but this is very this is rooted in in mesoamerica rooted in the state of oaxaca and as far as you know when they first started uh this this holiday and um it it outlived a lot of our a lot of our ancestors and uh it's it's great it's great and, and it's great that it is caught on in america over the i would say over the last 40 years there's now a Day of the Dead celebration in every major city. Yeah. And and hopefully, you know, some of the, the younger generation that, you know, may not be as uh, steeped in their culture, uh, maybe mm -hmm. getting a chance to have that, you know, reawakened in them a little bit. But again, mm -hmm. I think there's that, that there is something that we all share, right? I think the fact that, you know, the Catholics have, you know, at the same time of year, they have the All Saints Day, All Souls Day, you know, one day right after the other. Um, I'm going to be doing a stream later. I don't know if it'll be late November or early December, talking a little bit about a, a very lost tradition that's very European. This mm. idea of telling ghost stories in wintertime. Mm, and why nice. do people do that? And and, sure. and why is that so universal? Um, and uh, And I think that I mean, I, I don't want to get too much off on a tangent, but I do love anything where I can say, look, this is something we have in common. You know, this, this Dia de los Muertos uh, is, is, is your culture, but I understand some part mm -hmm. of it, and I can appreciate it, you know? Yeah, it, it, it very well said, because it's, in, even let's say a younger generation of of a, of a Latino, right? Like mm -hmm. someone maybe who who who's not connected to their culture. To me, this will endure more than a Hispanic Heritage Month, you know, which Absolutely. is which is just mm -hmm. you know commercial garbage. Yep. Um, and a lot of times they'll just use that month for their own political agendas. Um, there's no political agenda here, guys. We're all gonna die, it, you know, and we're, yeah. we're uh, our loved ones have have gone before us. It's life and death. This is wonderful. And yep. it should be celebrated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So now if everyone's ready, I uh, said for those of you who uh, came in after my intro, there is a Cosme link pinned to the top of the chat. And go ahead and open up that Cosme link in another tab so that you can follow the movie with us. It's all you got to do is have it open and uh, I'll... Start the movie the for you. I'll do the steering. <laughs> do the driving, yeah. exactly. exactly. I'm so excited. I'm uh, anonymous crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I do, uh, as I as I say every week, um, if you like this movie, own physical media. Go out and get it so that you have it and they can mm. never take it away from you. Never, never, never trust the streaming services. Exactly. That's why we own over a thousand movies right behind me exactly because physical media no one can change that no one can change it they can't take it away from you and you can watch it anytime you want exactly okay i love it i love it netters and uh great job hosting tonight netters yeah troy's doing okay but it's all about that <laughs> <laughs> i'm just the technical guy <laughs> okay if everyone's ready all right we'll start in three two one play Okay, and let me know if you're seeing it okay in the Cosme link. Classic 20th Century Fox. Yep. Oh, I missed the full one. Love it. Let me 
get my cursor out of the way. That's just how it's going to be. Okay. Everyone see it okay? Everyone hear it okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. good. I've never never heard of Real FX before. That's cool. I like that intro. Well, I got to say, uh, I like seeing a, a different studio besides uh, the mouse. <laughs> yeah. So that there's no oh, monopoly. I didn't know Gu Guillermo del Toro has a... Yep figures into this that's cool <laughs> i remember field trips i loved field trips Has a very chin. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ninja skills. Yup. Makes me wonder what the little girl with the bow did to get detention. Yeah, right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Do I think the pretty girl? You lost Polly, so make sure that you're watching to bring him back in. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. I actually like museums. Yep. I do too. I used to drive up to DC all the time, walking through all the different Smithsonian museums. I mean, Illinois has got some pretty fabulous museums. I mean, downtown Chicago, you know, that, um, like the art museums and all that, the field museums. That's not the same mayo. <laughs> Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Awesome. And the goat poops. Yep. Well, you would do. Mexico is <laughs> the center of the universe. Now you've learned something. Yes. She is, isn't she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a weird print. Pretty. Those are amazing. Yep. That is a very large hat. <laughs> So there's this this idea that 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 the the land of the dead is is there's two parts to it those that are remembered and those that are forgotten. She is a cutie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord, she's a tease. The artist and the sailor, or uh, soldier. so elaborate but so pretty mm. yeah
kind. Yeah. That was a great image of him standing in the shadow of his father. Exactly, yeah. meant for his father why is he eating it yeah that just seems disrespectful to me hey welcome the bosco scenario if you want to uh join in the story it's uh you know, click on, no, oh, up here, click on the link. You can join us where we're at. Yeah, if you're, if you're having a problem with the, the link, make sure you, uh, you uh, refresh and uh, blow the screen up, too. That helps. Well, he doesn't want either of them. Exactly. I mean, she seems pretty independent. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's Time a problem. To make bacon. <laughs> So Bosco said, uh, gracias, uh, with family, saw you were on, wanted to stop by and say hello. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you. Super appreciate it. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Whoa. Ooh, warthog. <laughs> thing is the bulls are colorblind yeah but it's not a bull it's a oh right it's, it's a, a pig yeah Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I kind of saw Ooh. that coming. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
And then <laughs> chicken is still burping up bubbles. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 the flame of perpetual purity. I like that. <laughs> no. Give me back my scarf. Oh, just oh, <laughs> no. peas oh. on him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to be the pig. Right. guitar. Pretty guitar. Sweet. Right? <laughs> he wants to grow a mustache so bad. It's quick. I 
see why you can't sing and fight bulls. I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. That'll be a distraction. A little bit. We got Orville Nation in the house. Oh, hey, PJ. How you doing? Hey, Orville Nation. PJ. I would just say Orville Nation. If you want to share the film with us, you can just click on the link up at the top there. You can jump jump into the movie right where we're at. <laughs> yeah, no, I would say so. That didn't count. It was divine action? <laughs> That's a low blow. Yeah. That old guilt thing is pretty universal, too. Mm hmm. I like the fact that they're they're still friends. There's rivalry mm -hmm. there, but a friendly one. Just to show off. <laughs> <laughs> I love there's a there's a storytelling element here that I think is so cool. Remember these characters are wooden figures in that box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that stylized element you see it there. Yeah, even down to the wood grain. Yes, including the wood grain, right? Assassino means assassin. Yeah. <laughs> that is one ugly bull. Well. That's a uh, orc bull. <laughs> I mean, 
the obscure figures of each of the, of everyone in this world is just so amazing. Right? God, it's so crazy. And then Maria's is like kind of like perfectly drawn. Right. <laughs> the priest. <laughs> He does have style. What's that music that. from? This is an old. Uh, it's kind of like an old. Uh, it's an old bullfighter song. Let me let me find out for you. No, it's uh, from a western. I just don't know which one. It's western. It's western. Thank you. I just don't know I think, which one. I think it's uh, Leone. Dun. Let me get the name of it. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, he doesn't want to kill the bull. Uh, I don't think Maria wants him to kill the bull either. No. Ecstasy of Gold by Inio Morricone. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, I called it. Yes, you did. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> she loves that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I love that grandma character. I told you he not do it. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Just sitting oh, no. there knitting away. Well, oh, they threw the guitar at him. Manolo. Oof. Oh, that Tector Elizondo doing the voice of the father. Oh, cool. Even the bulls, Even like, the bulls disappoint. Yeah, it's like, you should have killed me. Nice. Little radio head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I like the use of other musical. Yeah. Like, uh, you know. Well, again, it's just so, so. so... Nice. Yeah, <laughs> what just happened? Hmm. So say it's part of that bilingual world, so it makes sense that this guy would like Radiohead, other stuff, you know, not just yeah. mariachi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chops. What? What did I say? Oh yeah, Maria in the chat. <laughs> yes, we are. Thanks for stopping by.
<laughs> uh oh. It'd be a good start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You do realize, Mikey, I've been married to this guy over here for 30 years. We make each other happy. <laughs> That's you right. I make you happy. Tell netters. Well, you better, otherwise we wouldn't be together. I Yeah, I figure. <laughs> I see the logic there. Yeah. I was going to kick out the little tiny legs and feet and then the big bodies. Yeah, that's yeah. stylized. <laughs> I got that. Well, I just got this is like the extreme view of the like the fat mariachi singers, you know? Yeah. She's beatboxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If anybody's wondering why I chose my uh, the yeah. avatar as one of these guys, is I love Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos, let me know. Nice. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Brilliant. Well, that was kind of like a wooly bully send up, yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. something pretty. The latest scene's asking if it was Cheech. Yes, that was Cheech. Really? That was Cheech Marin? Yeah. Playing oh, one God. of the mariachis, yeah. But what? No Tommy Chong? <laughs> There is a Spanish version of this as well. That's even better. <laughs> I was going to say, that probably sounds pretty nice in Spanish. Yeah, I probably should have just sung in Spanish, man. Big Oliva's got a good voice. Excuse me. I could probably make that dress. Song. <laughs> That's kind of cute because of the shape of his nose, it makes a heart. Oh, 
<laughs> Those four will. <laughs> And don't speak for me. <laughs> Orville Nation has never seen this movie. He's digging it. PJ, enjoy, my friend. Yeah. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty low blow. <laughs> Because they don't really want to hurt each other. <laughs> you wanted a banjo? Uh -huh. No, actually you didn't. It's like he just walked out the front door. He hasn't gone anywhere. You know, the, the banditos want to take it for some reason. <laughs> This is what he trained for. <laughs> and the banditos all look like troll <laughs> caveman types. Yeah. Then the with the, yeah. the, like kind of like the metal looking hats. He's only a hero because he's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to be brave when you know you can't get hurt. <laughs> Jesus. That's bizarre. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a real man. <laughs> She's been knitting that same thing forever. And it hasn't gotten any bigger. I love grandma's little whiskers. Yeah. See, you don't get to see the metal very much, so it's a good thing that there's that illustration, so you can kind of start to see some of the symbolism there. It's all sparkly glowy. Sort of like that's how you tell stories, you know? Subtle reminders. Right. Mm -hmm. Not rings of power. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean... <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> she just said she'd think about it. She didn't say yes. It's, it's something. Yeah, PJ says, congrats, Polly, on the new stash, man. Yeah. It's like, Polly's got a much better mustache than, uh, than, than dude over there. Joaquin. I'm growing it out for Halloween. For Halloween? Yeah, I'm playing a mustachio guy. Hmm. You'll see. I'll, I'll let you know later. <laughs> I sure did that one year for, uh, for Halloween when he grew out. His beard really fuzzy, you know, like long and scraggly, so he could be the wolf man. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, this is so beautiful. Right? It is. Another great use of a popular song. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. I did not see that coming. She would have chosen him. See, I know the story and it's still shocking. Yeah. Brilliant story, man. Jeez. And I love that you yeah. noticed she didn't even think. She just pushed him out of the way. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah. Mm. Ow, 
Ouch. Yeah, we just kids. <laughs> I was thinking I'm getting a little great princess, line, little great princess line. bride vibe from this. Yeah, I like that. We're just kids. Can't take it, man. Uh oh. Ooh. Did you see that? Yes, the flash, his yeah. face and the flash of lightning. Yeah. But is he certain he's going to see her then? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is not the end. Here's where the movie gets really cooking. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. He's a calavera. <laughs> wow, that's this is a Cafe Tacuba song from 19 like the early 1990s. A very popular Rock and Espanol band from Mexico. So this is like a this was to hear this is wild. Mm hmm So what's really neat here is you're kinda like seeing the journey from the point of view of the person that died. Mm-hmm. Does that mean that the horse is dead? No. I guess so. <laughs> mm mm. Too soon. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Get in there. Wife. Well, I mean, I guess he's already dead. It's not like he can die again. <laughs> Capes are for cowards. Oh. <laughs> Look how intricate his beard is. Yeah. I like his mustache. <laughs> I like that. He's able to connect with an ancestor who had dreams too, you know, like his. Super Macho Sanchez. <laughs> wow. Oh shit. Oh, oh gosh. Wow. <laughs> 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 
Those are the flowers I told you guys about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it wasn't for me. I never wanted that. Yeah. So that's that's very interesting. It 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 kind of sets up. There's there's what people tell you people would have wanted, and then there's what they actually really wanted. Yeah. His dad wanted to be a bullfighter. Mama didn't. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> right, and then there's the ancestor who also had wanted to be a musician. Yep. That's really beautiful. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> oh, God, it does look good, though. Mm hmm. She died. Danny Trejo is the uh, is the dad is the grandfather. Oh, no kidding! I'm I'm really bad with voice, you know, catching who the voice actors are. Not very nice. No. But technically, he hasn't won yet. I suppose. True. Because she hasn't married him.
least he's right about that. It's yeah, time. he's at mm-hmm. least being sensitive about that. I'm not happy about it, but I'll do it. Well, at least put the ring on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a churro. Oh, that's good. good. Come on, Big Al. I need to have a churro. I'm actually kind of curious about the ones that got the the like chocolate inside and the strawberry. Oh, I've had those. I've never had one of those. I've had the ones with chocolate, the ones with like jelly, and the ones with cheese. They're not good. He's already dead. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it makes me think of it makes me think of a uh, man of La Mancha be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> My arthritis is, is killing me. He's already dead. <laughs> Yeah, so is your whole body. <laughs> Make all left turns. Or all right turns, as long as you stay on right one turns, wall, yeah. 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 In there. Oh, that's cool. It's like that. Like that? G- it's like that that game where you. Yeah. You, with, yeah. <laughs> Oof. And being in the center, they can't touch him. Ice cube. <laughs> the voice is familiar, but I don't know who that is. Ice Cube, wouldn't it, sir? Ice Cube. Oh. Hmm? 
Wow. wow. That's beautiful. What do I expect to start singing? You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's got to do the thing. Think about that. Each one of those candles is a life. <laughs> Book of Life. I yeah. love it. La Muerte. <laughs> I think I died there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where's the rest of Louise? There we go. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Son of a leprous donkey. Whoops. Whoops. Her design is amazing. Yeah. That's why he can't be harmed. Oops.
having to kill the bull. So good. Wow. That's a lot of bull. All at once. Use your lightsaber. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeesh. Mm. Great storytelling. It's like, great, just all I need. This movie, man. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Sing. Oh, my. That's a lot of bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's really like, Town, come on, town. There you go. Yeah, together we stand. Toro, toro, venga. Venga, todo. Oh. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> Dang. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're saying. He's like, yeah. I tell you, sometimes all it takes is just someone encouraging you. Yeah. Nice. But much prettier. No one's that big, man. Hmm. Now you're gone for. Oof. Mm. <laughs> mm.
finish him. Now look at this. He's given a choice here. What's his weapon? <laughs> Music just soothes the savage beast. Nice. Yep. Mm. Always play from the heart. Flames going out. <laughs> that was really pretty song. Yeah. Give him that. Yeah, you don't want to end up back down here again anytime soon. Right. Got to watch out for that cholesterol. Yeah. Cholest <laughs> and snakes. Cholesterol. That a boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Andale. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Fair. Oh, this no. army. But <laughs> No, 
surrender. <laughs> I couldn't kill a bull, but this guy, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Gondo. That's Yoris. That's uh, Placido Domingo. Yeah. He can sing. Adelitas. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> his mustache. Punched him with him. his mustache. Yeah. Crazy priest. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice luchador move, elbow. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> Come on. Stupid. <laughs> See, and that's just it. I mean, it was it was a little bit of a joke. It's really them pulling together, right? No one of them is is the one. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Just keep throwing this guy yeah. up each level. Toss me. Uh oh. Damn. Ow. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Get it, boy. Hi, Maria. <laughs> 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 What happened to the metal? Ooh. He's saving the town. Yep. Damn. Ah. There's a sacrifice. That's a hero.
the medal, but does he have the medal? Mm. Oh, he's all jacked up. I've never seen more clearly. He's just lost an eye. <laughs> Aww. Yep. Ah, <laughs> 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 check it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Good day of the dead. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Huh. Nice. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? Big Al, what'd you think? Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. A beautiful story. A beautiful love story. Great action. Wonderful music. It's what I look for in a film. How about you, Mikey? Yeah, I mean, I'm just freaking, I can't believe I never saw this movie. I gotta tell you. I'm in, you know, I'm in shock. 
This is great. It was awesome, and it flew by. Like I've been up since I've been up since five a five thirty a.m. East Coast time, and working oh, wow. all day long. And uh, I haven't had any coffee in like hours, and uh, but I was looking forward to tonight. And uh, what blows me away is that this movie was made for fifty million dollars, according to the stats I looked up on IMDb Pro. It made a hundred million, so it made money. But what blows me away is that I just had a fantastically entertaining time in 88 minutes. And mm -hmm. I compare that to how much money is being burned on things like Amazon and other crap. Yeah. It's astounding. Yeah. It is astounding how if you allow a creative uh, guy like this guy to put this together and bring the right talent. I mean, literally, I can't even believe 90 minutes has just gone by. I'm in shock. I, the animation is so unique. Yeah. I've never seen and, a movie that has this look and feel. But so charming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I honestly yeah. don't know if this was CG or if it was stop motion. It kind of doesn't matter. The idea comes across the same way. It's like a puppet show, right? These little dolls telling this story. This was great. That's brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I gotta watch this. Uh, Paul, it's right. I gotta watch this with. Uh, I can't believe it's 2014. So it's an eight-year-old movie. Yeah. So I gotta watch. Shockery wasn't even nominated for an Academy Award for animated feature, which is ridiculous. Looking at the uh, Big Hero Six. But Tyler you know, Dragon here's two. the thing, I mean, though. Uh, I feel like these awards they don't mean anything anymore. Oh, They're no. Really they can be bought. That's why I don't. They can be. Them. Yes, she's right. They can be bought. It's all industry insiders. <laughs> the real talent are the ones usually that are overlooked by the establishment. Yeah, it's who you know. It's not how right. Good you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was outstanding. Mm -hmm. I like the guitar. Beautiful film. Beautiful film. That was outstanding. And I'm so I, glad we all did this all together. Yeah. I had super, super The, the remarkable thing is, though, I had never even heard of this film mm -hmm. until oh, really? Netter, until Net, you brought this up uh, several weeks ago when you were, you were a little hesitant to let anybody know that this was the film that you wanted to do. Right. right. When I, heard I wanted it, I to like, make sure I had my other co-hosts. Uh, right. And I was like, what? when you announced it, I was like, oh, I never heard of that film. Yeah. I didn't either. And that's why I when mean, I signed in, I'm like, what are we watching? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can hear yeah. you fine. So, again, it's, it's a lot of people's favorite, you know, uh, uh it's it's got a it's got a cult following and, and it just keeps growing, and Jorge's work keeps you know uh, keeps evolving as well with uh, that animated limited series called uh, Maya and the Three, and that is on Netflix. So oh, wow. if you want the, more of his world, this yeah. is part of the same universe I think he created. It's called Maya and the Three. Oh, I and, have to look uh, into that. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's either eight or ten episodes. Um, it's it's incredible. Wow! Absolutely, just so you my, can see his, uh, his stuff is mind blowing, man. My history my with this is a, is a little nine, bit nine different. episodes. Oh, a little yeah, bit yeah. different than everyone else's. I um, I got this movie specifically for my brother. My brother uh, passed away not even a year ago. And he uh, he uh, was mentally handicapped. Mm. He uh, uh, you know he never grew up, and and he he loved cartoons of all kinds. And he must have seen an advert or something for this. And my mom asked if I could get it for him, and and so I did. And uh, I loved it. You know, I was like, I'm, I I was I was glad he he got to see this. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, God bless. Wow, this is great. I'm speechless. I'm stunned. Good job, Netter. Way to pick a good one. Thank you. Good yeah, yeah. job.
I, I'm going to tell you this much. For all the live streaming I do, this is probably the most joyous I've ever felt on a live stream that I can remember, aside from when maybe Polly and I have done some of the shows with some of the, like, Edward James Almost and stuff. This is, so, uh, yeah, good one, good one. And I'd never seen it before, so this is great. You know, Netter and Al, they do these rewatches. They they trade off weeks, once nice. on her channel, once on his. And uh, they're always saying how... The whole idea is just this opportunity for us to get together as a group mm -hmm. of friends and watch a movie together. And uh, that that's really what you guys are keying into, you know? Because, yeah, uh, I mean, that's why I call my, my rewatches, I call them films with friends. Films with friends, exactly. Uh, the concept, you know, you have a bunch of fr friends over sitting on the couch watching the show, but sometimes that's not possible. And your friends live in different cities. And this is a or good way states. to get yeah, yeah. more states. It's a good way to get together and watch a movie together, exactly. at least spiritually together. Exactly. And uh, and since we all live in different places, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's in, we're not even like close to the same states. It's nice to be able to share this with everyone this way, so that we can still all enjoy the movie, like Al was saying. Sir Torrance said, this was one of those movies that I knew about, but never got around to watching it until now. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And 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 this is what I, I say, too. There's a lot of movies on my, you know, to watch list. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a, a matter of getting around to it. Sometimes it just takes somebody to grab you and say, okay, we're watching this one now, you know. Mm -hmm. Great soundtrack. The soundtrack is going by right and, now. And I'm glad the first 20 minutes you guys set it up with that, that first 20 minutes you were all talking. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. just listening. Uh, that was a really good setup because it got me in the right mood. And it's a lot like as if we had all met at the theater. Mm -hmm. and saw, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's right. a lot like that, that sphere. So I, was, I know it's kind of quiet, but I was just listening to you guys. That was a great, that convo was a great setup. So I appreciate that. So yeah. And, and, you know, too, it's, it's like Natter said, especially with the way YouTube works, you know, the... The, the 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 announcements goes out and it takes like about 15 minutes for people to get the notification and come in and check it out and whatnot so uh yeah i, I think that worked out good and uh yeah i do hope that those of you that really did enjoy it, get out there get your dvds or blu-rays or whatever you kids you know <laughs> consume own these days own yeah. the physical media absolutely yeah. Yeah, Can hey, I, I gotta that? let the I gotta let the dog out and go to sleep. But uh, thank you guys very much. Thank Love you all so much. Thank Pl you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Al, great yeah. meeting you. Thank uh, you. Netter, love you. Troy, love you. Polly, you love too, you. Man. Have, I'll see. I'll see y'all later. Sleep. All right. Okay. Bye, Mikey. Bye, Mikey. Oh, so anyway, Did, can it? Can I? Can you show the uh, DVD again? Absolutely. Okay, great. So here is. I'm trying to make sure it's not reflecting too bad. No, that's no, good. How, what what is the back? How's the back look? The back. Oh, it's that's got, neat. Yeah, I'm trying Funny, not to get exciting. reflection oh, on that's here. The fun. Yeah, yeah, it's so yeah, special. It's such a special story, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, it, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you played it, and I'm glad. So deleted scenes. Uh, this is first time as well. What what did deleted scenes think? Oh yeah, what do you think deleted scenes? so but it's like yeah it's like i i fell in love with this movie um because like troy said he got it for his brother so i was watching it while he was um you know making copy for his brother and it just fell in love with the movie yeah and mm -hmm. it's like wow this is like so interesting i mean there's the love story there's the you know i'm going to fight to save my town i'm going to fight mm -hmm. to get back to the love of my life you know, I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for her life. You you made a comparison earlier, Polly, to uh, to another uh, supposedly epic series that's going on right now. Mm. And this is this yeah. is it, right? This is how you yeah. show yeah. heroism, and not only heroism, but you show a. They didn't get caught up on the whole male female thing either. You know, mm -hmm. this this was a woman who was very strong. She made her own choices, but she also worked with with her friends together. You know, that's real heroism. 
Oh, she was a strong Mexican Mexican lady. Yep. You know they yep, all yep. they all were. And so uh, so was Grandma. So I was, was Grandma. Well, so Grandma, and did you notice when you know they 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 oh, set it day, up? All of them. They set it up when you know mm-hmm. uh, at the very beginning when they're showing the, the 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 Day of the Dead and he's missing his mom. He finally sees his mom on the other side. And what she's just she has no problem going up to uh, to a, 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 a deity and slapping him, going, yeah. "What's wrong with you?" You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and protecting their town, their families, their way of life. Yeah. You know, um, fighting for true love. Fighting for true love, you know, singing from your heart. Um, Following that's beautiful. Your true passion. I mean, that's beautiful no and then of course you know portraying uh how our how our loved ones are reunited in a in another plane and you know that's pretty cool yeah yeah do you want They're to all... uh, show your um your uh your statue behind you yeah you oh yeah yeah better? yeah so it's so yeah. beautiful i want everyone to see it so did they call her la muerte yeah oh, they called her la muerte but it was a, I think it was La Muerte Posada. Let me look at the cast one more time. And that is a. I felt like it was a simplification of of the of the character. Yeah, I'm just trying to get. Yeah, I was looking at uh, Maya in the three too. A lot of the, a lot of the same voice vocal talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh you know there's some some newer newer names now, but uh, the main leads are uh, Zoe and uh, Diego again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know the the Maya of course is uh, the 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 lead this time. But, uh, uh, okay, uh, I I think I was looking for full na- full name. I I wasn't sure if they play if her name was La Muerte Posada. Doesn't matter. Okay. Right? Don't don't matter. Um but uh, let me just check one more time. Okay, well. So yeah, let me see, what do you have me so yeah, uh here's a the here's a La Catrina um statue of the uh the the calavera means skeleton. The ca- the calaca is the s- sugar is a skull, right? So yeah. here's here's a here's a, here's a calaca, oh, wow. right? Where it's just the head. Yeah. Calaca. There we go. You know, it's got the little paintings and all. Is that one a candle? No, this is a, 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 a this was a, a succulent, but oh, okay, okay. I did not. We got we got one in the other room that's that's actually growing. Oh, okay. And then this baby is la muerte or the, yes. the, so la catrina. <laughs> oh, that is wow. adorable. I mean, I think it's beautiful. She's heavy and too. The intricate dress and everything. Oh. The head turns. That's amazing. So beautiful. Mm-hmm. Did you say you got that in Mexico? Yeah. Well, uh, my mom did. Oh, okay. So this is yeah. God, I don't know when the last. She used, she used to go a lot, but I don't know when the last time was. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But wow. yeah. That's great. There you All go, right. man. Polly, what have you got coming up in the next week or so? Uh, the new videos, uh, probably a, a membership stream, oh. probably a movie night in the next couple of weeks. I don't have my guests. I don't have, I'm working on guests. Well, okay. I'm working on, for this month, I'm working on um, a couple of horror directors to come. Nice. nice. And then the lady from that wrote Aliens Vasquez. Mm-hmm. It's a new book that's coming out in the Aliens universe. She's going to come on. Cool. Um, I've been reading it. It's it's all right. 
I get some problems with it. I like I like her. She's a good she's a good lady, good author. But I'm like, uh, <laughs> this would be a tough that'd be a tough interview, okay. you know. When you, but I'm gonna finish reading the book. That's an important thing yeah. to do. Uh, you can ask book, yourself, what made you decide to go in this direction rather than that yeah. direction? You know. Yeah. Yeah. You right. Said it was right. Called Al Aliens Vasquez. Yeah, it's is it, ba is it based on the character from Aliens? From yeah, it's like official Aliens universe. This is official novel. So Interesting. It's a prequel, I guess. No, it, it's it's actually both. It's actually oh. her her prequel story, but then her story of her kids after oh, her death. After oh. wow, which, Interesting. which I like. They're just now starting to get into. Like the kids are now going like. One's going to college, and one is, one got accepted into the Marines. Interesting. So, so that's wow. kind of cool. And they're all very hot, you know. Like, you know, they have that Vasquez, you know, fire about yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's it, you know, it's pretty cool. It, it there there is a, a bit of a feminist agenda to where I'm just like, why is why is everything sounding like, you know, one voice. Yeah, I can take it with one character, but it's like, yeah. come on, you know, like. Yeah. This. Plus, there's there's things as I are these really problems in the future? <laughs> yeah, good point. So I I'm just I'm curious to read it all because, you know, granted in in the Aliens movie they were pretty modern, even though it was the '80s, right? They had yeah. modern language and, you right. know, uh, so. Um, and she was a badass and she was a very tough girl, tough lady. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm just curious about all that. I kind of just wish it's, it's really strange, right? Like, like that's just really it. Um, so sometimes I'm, I'm reading them just like, uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it, 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 it it might end up being too heavy handed because right now that's what I've gotten, even yeah. though like get, get me, get me off this earth, get me more into, into, into space. Yeah. Oh, I can yeah. dig it. Okay. I can dig it. Um, and so, so I'm working on that. I'm pretty sure that everybody here in the chat is already subscribed to Latino slant, but if you're not, please do. Uh, he's got membership. Check that out too. Um, he does some great uh, membership content, special streams, uh, great music. Definitely want to be there. But, you know, and I guess I'm more talking to the people that might stop by and see the stream in the future because I'm pretty sure everyone here is already subscribed. Yeah, you never and know. Deleted Scenes yeah, true. has dropped links to everyone's yes. channel Absolutely. in the chat. Subscribe to everybody. Yeah, it helps all of us because as uh orville nation always says together we grow together we grow that's right i mean just from another stream that we were on earlier uh or actually troy was on earlier and i was just listening in i gained two more subscribers yeah. so i have 170 subscribers right now yeah. no yeah I, yeah you should have 172. Oh, refresh because sure. I, I just <laughs> <laughs> my and channels I, were not subscribed to you and oh. and I should and uh, I'm getting real close to that yes, 500. I'm real excited about that. So uh, nice. So now I need 28 more to get to 200. So and right. Once I get to 200, I'm gonna have a special live stream. Yep. And I'm actually going to pick somebody that's in the chat to win a prize. Yep. She won't tell me what it is, so she's keeping it secret. We'll find out. When we get her it's there, just a, just a little something, something. Yeah, you know, to yeah. show my appreciation for one of Troy's prized collectibles, Shelby. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> and I'm not going to fight her because she's probably the one that got it for me in the first place, right? It's um, a six foot Millennium Falcon. Yeah, well, that. <laughs> yeah, I have nobody to you got to come pick it, pick it up yourself. <laughs> um, tomorrow, I believe I will be on in the morning. That's nine thirty Central Time. Uh, with Matthew Flynn, those of you in my uh, yeah, my regulars here know Matthew Flynn. You know, check out his channel. Well, uh, I'm sharing something for Polly. There we go. I want a big gal to see the book cover. Yeah, that's a good cover. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love the artwork. Yeah. So that's probably the the daughter, because the daughter really start embodies Vasquez's look as like nice. that's what I kind of like slowly 
step by step, she embodies that you know Vask her mom's her mom's takes look. after mom. Yeah, that's good. yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, great artwork. I kind of know where it's gonna where it's going, which I do like. It's it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a twin, so there's a there's a there's a boy, there's a man in her. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's it's good though. Know, it's like I said, like the story itself is good. It's like I just feel sometimes the the voice. It's like yeah, you know, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, you. there's a cover, Big Al. Cool. So uh, tomorrow, Matthew Flynn in the morning will be talking Transformers. In the evening, mm. no, uh, no, um, uh, Age of Boomer because he's yeah. uh, incommunicado. So no typical mm. geeky, geeky right? Geeky. So I, I don't know what we'll call the stream. It'll be on my channel, and Netter and I will bring you the geek news. You know, in his stead. <laughs> yeah, the 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 Pacelli's geeky. Ramble. news something or other i don't know we'll, we'll find we'll, we'll find some way to manage it big al um mm-hmm. i've been and even i even talked to uh daniel heron do you know if he's doing something on wednesday uh yes he has asked me to join him if uh h boomer can we're going to be I watching don't. poltergeist we were, uh, the, the original the original Poltergeist film. I am assuming cool, it's cool. the original. <laughs> Which, Good. Well, if you watch Poltergeist 3, make sure you look for me. Yeah, we know that yeah. one. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so that's going to be... Uh, also, he's also doing a rewatch on Monday, uh, which we're going to join if I get back from the doctor soon enough. Mm. Uh, Master Commander. Oh. Mm. Talking, talking so that the, is uh, uh, that is that. soundtracks with Birdman. Uh, so I didn't know there was a Monday stream too. So Monday and yeah, Wednesday. He, has, he he has a show called the Batman Show, and he has a couple of guys that, and they, if if you like soundtracks, these are the guys to listen to yes, because they absolutely. know their stuff. And uh, but I think one of them I'm going to be able to join, and he asked me if I wanted to do master commander and i was like sure from back good good soon enough. but they're doing it anyway him and ian on uh mr matchstick's channel on tuesday we were supposed to be doing this is the second time we were, were putting it off we were going to do the second season of legion of the superheroes but again he doesn't want to do that without um boomer. without age of boomer so we'll be mm-hmm. putting that off and that brings us around to Friday. Uh, next Friday's stream, uh, I will be uh, having Brandon the Anime Guy as my guest. And I'm really hoping that that, uh, that uh, Agent Boomer can join us because he's the anime guy in this group. I don't know anime from nothing, but uh, do I. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Um, which brings us around to next Saturday, which mm-hmm. I believe is on your channel, Big, Big Al. Al. Yep. What are we doing? We are going to be watching the 1976 film Grizzly, which was one of the <laughs> films inspired by Jaws. It uh, it frightened me more than Jaws because if I didn't go in the water, I wasn't worried about it, but you can't escape from a bear. So, yeah, bears uh, 18, are here on land. They 18 different. feet of killing fury. On on Saturday night. Okay, so dude, that I, I think I vaguely remember that movie as a little kid. Yeah, yeah it's I, one of those grainy I, I, I '70s type of shows, films. Yeah, it, it's one of John Prine, Richard Jackal, a lot of great '70s, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. a couple of great mm-hmm. '70s actors, and um, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's kind of it's become a cult classic, and uh, just felt I go. just felt like finally watching the Grizzly. <laughs> Right. Let's so. see. And then the 15th, I have to look at back at my uh, my things to see what which one I'm on. I think I'm on, I'm still in the Bs, but mm-hmm. I'm not sure which one comes next. I can't see it because the lights are off and I can't really see the titles. Is it Buffy the Musical? We could do Buffy the Musical. That would be a great one to do in October. Sure. So in yeah, okay. on the 15th, which is my next day, my next Saturday, we'll be doing Buffy the Musical. So that will definitely be, be fun to the top for um, for Cosme because I'm sure not everyone has that one. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a fun thing. All right. That's great. So, so that is our show for tonight. I yep. want to thank 
everyone for joining us. Polly, any last words? Last words. <laughs> <laughs> um, last yeah, words. yeah. Oh, I yeah, mean, I, much love to you and to Troy oh, for just uh, just really being like incredibly supportive of uh, of the slant. And uh, it mean it means a lot, which is why you know I made sure I was that we made this happen. And so uh, um, thank you for your patience, Netters. And uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I wanted know. so much to have you and Mikey on yeah. for this. That's like I was willing to wait as long as it took, because it's like you know you right. two are two of my favorite YouTubers, and I yep. just wanted you here for this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, you know, and I'm kind of glad that it's like October and you're getting ready for yeah. Day yeah. of the Dead. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is perfect. I'm still waiting for Troy to pick out what horror movie we're going to be showing uh, at the very end of the month for my last. Yeah, October I got to give that some thought. Okay, I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Because I told him he could pick that movie. Even though it's not going to be in alphabetical order, he gets to go out of the yeah. norm and pick the, uh, there you go. the Halloween movie. Yep. Okay, Big L, any last words? Uh, I'd just like to. You know, thank you for having me again. Looking forward to getting together again next week. And deleted scenes I said Grizzly had a sequel that just recently got released. Yes, no. it is under the incredibly apt title Grizzly Two, <laughs> <laughs> or something like that's that. That's original. I, was it the Revenge? I think it's the Revenge. But yeah, it's Grizzly Two something. Cool. Yeah, it has a subtitle. Okay. I've never seen that one. I've got to watch it. I have it, but I haven't watched it. Good. And Troy, the love of my life. Any last words? Uh, you know, thank you, Netter, for uh, reminding us once again and reminding me every day, love never dies. Aww. Thank you. And, of course, everyone knows that what I always say is we can talk amongst ourselves, and that's all well and good and fine and fun, but it's so much more fun when you guys are here joining us. You're putting your comments in the chat, your questions, sharing trivia, and just sharing this time with us. It seems more like you're here with us, like closer with us, yeah. than just being in the chat. And you're not just friends to us, you're family as well. We love you guys and we thank you for being here. That said, thank you again, everyone, for being here. Have a really great night. Take Bye care. Bye now.